Hi, and welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to import CSV files into Python without using any modules. So we're not going to be using the Python, uh, the pandas module, and we're not going to be using the CSV module that is uh, with Python as well. We're going to be completely doing it um, from scratch. We are going to be reading in the file and then treating the file. Now, of course, this won't take into consideration like a lot of the catches that pandas have, um, but I will have some uh, data validation in here. Um, like if there is a column and there's no data in the row for that column, we will be inserting a string of null um, in there, or we can put an empty string. Um, it's going to be really something that you guys could decide what you guys want to put in as that value. I'm going to be putting a string that just has the word null in it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So what I have is I have our folder that we typically have um, with our main.py. And then I also have this data.csv file, which is a comma separated value file, uh, which has a ID first and last as the columns. And then we have uh, four names here. So this is the data we have, and we are going to be working with that in this file. We're going to be importing it in this file. Uh, and then I'll be making another video, uh, which is going to show you guys how to do something similar that what pandas does and display it in a table like format. So let's go ahead and let's get started here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually I'm going to want to create another pi file because we're going to be creating our own module for this. Uh, so even though we're not using modules, I prefer to create all my functions in a separate module. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file here. And we're going to name this data module.py. And we are going to be working in this file here. And firstly, we are going to want to do a, fun a uh, function here. So we're going to do um, def for the um, keyword for defining a function here. And we're going to call this import CSV. And we're going to go ahead and we already know that we need to specify a file name. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there right away. All we are going to do for now is we're just going to go ahead and print the file name. And then what we're going to do in our main.py is we are going to do from data module, import, import CSV. And then what we can do here is we can simply import CSV. And then in here, we're going to do data.csv. And then if we run this, we can see that we just get our file name printed out to the screen, which is what we would expect. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's go back into the data module.py and let's actually start working on our function here. So the first thing that we need to do um, is we need to get our file. So let's do file equals open. And now, like we've seen this in our Python for Beginners uh, tutorial series, which I'm going to be linking. If you guys haven't seen that series yet, I'm going to be putting a link to the playlist in the description down below but we're going to do a open and we are going to uh, reference the file name here and we're going to open in a mode of read only. And then we're going to do a enter here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up. So pandas sends you what's called a data frame back. Uh, so we're going to name our variable data frame, but really all it's going to be is going to be a dictionary. Uh, which is defined by two curly brackets. It's also like an object, um, but it's going to be our dictionary. And then what we're going to want to do, so we have our file and we have our data frame. Now, what we do know is that in our CSV file, the first row is going to be our headers. So we need to grab the headers. This way we can store each row and store it program uh, programmatically. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do headers equals, and that's going to be uh, file dot read line because we only want to read one line, 
And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a dot replace. And we're going to want to replace um, backslash n with just an empty string. And what that is, it's for the carriage return at the end of the file. Uh, because we're treating this as a file, uh, it's going to have a carriage return at the end of each line. And the headers is going to have that end of line. And if it doesn't, then that's fine. It just won't replace anything. Uh, but we're going to replace the slash n. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call a dot split. And then in here, what we could do is we could add a variable up here called delimiter. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to split that on the delimiter. Now, you could hard code this in to only take uh, commas. Um, but if you um, want to specify a delimiter, then we could just do this. And what we can do is we can do a default value of comma. And that should be good here. So now what we can do is we can, so we have our headers here. So what we can do is we can just do uh, print headers. And this way we can see what it looks like at least. So let's do that and let's see what this gives us. So right now, uh, when we execute our code, we currently get our headers, which is ID first and last. So that's perfect because that is our header. So that's awesome. So let's go back in here. And we are just going to take away this line. And let's keep going. So now that we've grabbed the first line, now we know that all the other lines is actually just going to be the data in the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop. And we're going to loop through the rest of the lines. And we're going to take each of those lines and create another object and store each of the values in that object with the correct headers for the value. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing that object and putting it in a list and then storing that list into the data frame dictionary with a reference to the primary key or the unique ID. Uh, which for us is um, the ID row, uh, which is fine here, uh, which that's just going to be our first column. So that's kind of the plan of what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and let's see how we can do that. So let's do a for line in file. And then what we can do here is we can do print line so i like to do this just to kind of see and show you guys like what my thought process is behind here uh, so here we get all the lines and now all we got to do is break these apart and put them into an object so this is my thought process of what goes in my head when i make these uh, i just want to show you guys like how i kind of break down the problem into multiple smaller problems which just become a lot easier so now that we have the line, we can do something similarly to how we got the headers. So if we do um, uh, line data as our variable here, and we are going to uh, make this equal to um, line dot replace like we did before. And we are going to be replacing the backslash n. And we're going to replace that with an empty string here. And again, we are going to do a dot to split. And we're going to split that on the delimiter. And that should be good. Now we're going to create a row object, because this is going to be for each row. And we're going to be setting that to an empty dictionary or object. And then what we are going to want to do is we want to store all the data um, in this row. So we want to store like what value is ID first and last for each row. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to do 4x in range of len headers. 
So what this basically means, it's um, it grabs the range uh, from zero to the length of headers, and it's non-inclusive. Uh, so it's zero up to the length of headers minus one, which is exactly what we want. And it's going to give that value to x. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to grab the value of headers, and we are going to grab the value of the line data at that index position. So it will always match up to be the same column that we're referencing. And then we're also going to add a little exception in here to catch if there is no data in the data row, but there was a column in the headers. And then we can set that to the string value of null. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if x in range of len line data. If it's in the range, then what we're going to do is we're going to do our row. And then we're going to do headers x equals line data x. And then we're going to do else row headers x equals null. So what this basically means, uh, so I'm just going to go over everything here just so you guys could fully understand what I'm doing as I'm doing it here. Um, let me just scroll down so you guys can actually see it. So here we're going through all of the indexes in headers. Now, if that index is in the line data, so if we go back into our CSV file, if we are using the first header, we see that number one matches. We're in the second one. They've got a second one. It's got a third one. It's got a third one. So it will always match up. And then it puts in the data. Now, if for some reason we had something like this, it'll go through it and it'll be like, all right, at index position three, oh, we don't have an index position three. So we're going to do the else and we're just going to put in null because there's nothing there. Uh, so we'll automatically kind of correct that bad data. Now, this will not catch every exception. Again, this is a very, very simple version of reading in a CSV file. Um, but from what I've tested with, and we're going to be doing some tests at the end, it does work fairly well. Uh, so we're just going to go into the next line here. And then what we're going to want to do is uh, for each line, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do data frame. Uh, sorry, uh, we are going to do, yes, data frame. And then our data frame, which is then going to reference our line data zero, because that's our primary key. Now, what you could do in this case is actually set a primary key value up here and then reference it down here as well. Uh, now, that would be completely up to you to do, um, but it's really not necessary. Um, it would really just kind of depend on what you wanted to do. We're just going to do it this way because we know uh, for us anyways, now this isn't going to work with every file because every file might not have the primary key in the first column. The majority of times it will be, um, but this is something that could easily be changed. Um, and I just want to mention it on the video that this is one of the spots where this could potentially break, uh, but it is very easy to kind of fix. So we're going to do data frame and then that line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do equals. And we're going to do another list here, and we are going to do our row. Perfect. So that should work here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a file.close, just to make sure we always close the file. And then we are going to return our data frames. Perfect. So that should work. So now if we go here, and what we should do here is we should put our data equals that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a print data. And we're just going to test it with the exact three columns, just so you guys can see that it does work. All right, so here we have the data. So we have our 
primary key of one, and then we have all the data for that primary key, including the primary key itself. And then what we have here, we have the second, um, the second primary key, and then the data for it, the third, and the fourth, which is all we have in our file here. So that works out really well. Now, another thing that you would be able to do here is for x in data, you can do print data x. And then if we did that, there we are. So there's all of our data imported nicely. Now, this isn't formatted in a table like pandas would typically. That's going to be on the next video. Uh, but as you guys see, like it does work. And then if we add a fourth column here and we do a test, and we're just going to put Ted Smith, we are actually going to put um, C me. Now, if we run this here, so here we can actually see that it automatically put nulls in here. Uh, so that works out just great. Now, if for some reason, you actually had an extra value here. So again, we're going to do it on Ted Smith. And you ran that. It actually just doesn't grab it. So if you have extra data on a data column, uh, it just won't, you just won't see it. Um, so that's again, it could be considered um, a bug if you say, um, it's definitely not a feature. Um, but it's definitely not, it doesn't break the code, uh, which is primarily what's really important. And if you don't have a column specified there, is that data really necessary? Probably not. And you should probably fix the file that it's coming from. Um, but that's what I would kind of foresee. This is really to kind of solve the problem of importing a CSV without using any external modules, just using the tools that Py Python provides to you without doing any imports. Now, of course, we do an import because we're importing it from our own module, um, but that is completely okay. Now, what we could do here um, is, uh, let me just see if we could actually do, Yeah, so that should work. That should be all okay in the next file. Uh, in the next video, sorry, we're going to be going over how to print that out to a table. And maybe what I'll do in the next video as well is maybe just kind of make this a little bit more flexible with the primary key on the data frame uh, for you guys. Uh, just kind of keep building on this kind of code. Uh, maybe do some more data videos. Uh, but I am planning for you guys Python and Pygame videos. I'm just getting through that content right now as well. If you guys have any requests for Python videos or PowerShell videos or any other programming language videos, leave a comment down below and I will get to those right away. Again, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.